There have been tips to come. Uh, no surprise, the confirmation. Now what, though, if there are no kind of, uh, I suppose, stalking horses uh, to kind of add to this, uh, to add to this bullish sentiment we've seen already? Carson, it looks mm. like we're going to see Grain Corp mm. shares popping. They come back online today at 11 a.m. And of course, with the last traded price at just $8.85 and that takeover offer uh, by Archer Dan Midlands, Daniel Midlands at $11.75, we're expecting to see Grain Corp being one of the best performers on the share market today. While we have seen this bid come through, this may not be the end of the story. Grain Corp's quite an attractive business. It's a grain handling business. And we could see some other agribusinesses in the running to pick up this stock as well. There's been quite a wave of consolidation in this sector this year already. We've seen Glencore, the commodities trader, picking up Vitera, and we've seen some private deals happening as well uh, of a Japanese company. So we could see some intense competition here, and that's likely to support Grain Corp shares. Of course, this takeover offer coming on the back of back-to-back -back record crops for Grain Corp. So we are seeing valuations are quite attractive from Grain Corp shareholders' point of views. In fact, if we have a look at crop forecasts, there's actually forecasts uh, that we will see crops declining in terms of winter crops by around about 12%. So it's quite an interesting space at the moment. There has been a lot of consolidation in the sector. Not a lot of agribusinesses listed on the Australian share market, but we're expecting to see takeover activity picking up in this space given the consolidation we've already seen in this sector globally in 2012. So Grain Corp shares coming back online at 11 a.m. and it should be one of the best performers on the market today. Well, speaking of coming back on, Online, Sundance has been in that trading halt uh, pending word from the Chinese on uh, well whether the financing is going to uh, come uh, come off or not uh, this is clearly going to be a net positive an absolute positive. Mm. I guess in terms of this Sundance takeover by Hanlong or this proposed takeover by Hanlong, there's two real keys to this takeover going ahead. One of them is financing and it does look like that's now in the bag with the China Development Bank issuing a letter of support of just over one billion dollars through a debt uh, facility. So that's a huge positive for this Sundance bid of 1.2 billion dollars by Hanlong. And second is the iron ore price and of course we've seen the iron ore price stabilizing since the 87 dollar price that we saw back in August. So two positives for Sundance. We have seen in a trading halt for a while, so we should see the shares well supported. Now, if we have a look at Sundance shares, the last traded price was at 34.5 cents. This takeover bid by Hang Long at 45 cents. So a fair way away uh, from that uh, takeover bid price. And that's really because the market had been waiting for financing to come through. Now that financing does look like it has been approved. That should be a positive for Sundance. On the other hand, we have seen the timetable for this takeover being extended out by a couple of weeks. It was initially the 31st of December being the target date for this takeover to occur, but it now looks like that's going to be the 11th of January in 2013. So Sundance shares, uh, it should perform well coming out of this trading hold on the back of that financing being approved by the China Development Bank. The share price still a fair way away from that takeover price of 45 cents. Last traded price was 34 and a half cents. Yeah, well, that, and that's the thing. Remember uh, that 57 cent a share offer in August. Uh, it seems that China's been in the driver's seat from then till now and, and able to amend at whim, notwithstanding the normal rules of the game. You put an offer on the table, that really is the price of anything that's meant to go up, not down. <laughs> and that's really why the iron ore price mm. has been important. The reason why they've been able to adjust that takeover mm. price from 57 cents down to a lower amount was the instability that we saw in iron ore prices and the huge plummet that we saw in prices from around about 150 US a ton mm. down to 87 US a ton. If we continue to see stabilization of that iron ore price, that puts Sundance in a much better place uh, in terms of negotiating or renegotiating or perhaps some other approaches by other mm. parties. But that iron ore price also a key in this takeover as well as that financing and both positives mm. for Sundance at the moment. Cooling on the banks. Uh, this is an interesting story. They're back footing already. No surprise, a slew of downgrades uh, from some, some prominent names. Goldman Sachs and friends uh, turning pretty bearish. Uh, what's your kind of take out on all of that? 
Well, the Australian share market is mm. up 12.5% since the beginning of June, and a key driver of that have been the big four banks, where we've seen gains of between 15 to 30% in the last few months. 15% uh, by Commonwealth Bank, and the other banks have gained between 20 to 30%. So it's been a fantastic run for the big four banks. They are now looking fairly valued. We are coming into dividend season, so after those dividends have been paid, I guess the question is whether we are going to see those uh, banks being continued to be supported. What we saw on Friday was a bit of a shift into some of the growth areas, and that's the materials and the energy sectors. Uh, in terms of the Australian share market, we saw a 15-month high being reached on Friday, but it does look like we're now in for a correction. A minor support level will be 4,448 points, but if we do see a 5 to 10 percent correction, we could see the Australian market targeting about 4,114 points. So it does look like we are going to see weakness in the banks, but I think a stronger driver of the losses on the Aussie share market today are going to be those growth areas, the materials and the energy space. And that's because we've seen the commodity space being dominated on Friday by a stronger US dollar and also growth concerns. So we did see gold prices lower. We also saw base metal prices low on the London's Metals Exchange. The US market was down by 1.7%. We have a look at how the ADRs perform. We did see BHP shares are lower on the New York, uh, in New York trade, so down by around about 1%. So I really think it's going to be those miners leading the declines on the Australian share market, although those banks will also be in focus with some losses later there as well.